If you look up things to do in Sin Colombia, one of the top results is always a place called Huatape. So today we booked an Airbnb experience. It's a day tour from Medellin to Huatape and back to see what it's all about. Let's go. We're Keith and Deb, and if you're new here, over the last two years we've been traveling full time from Europe to Asia and our most recent continent of South America, where we are exploring Colombia. Today we will be checking out Huatape and whether or not it's worth a day trip from Medellin. Subscribe to follow along. Made it. Let's hop on the bus. Only a 10 minute walk actually, it's really close to our place. Off we go. What's included in this tour, you ask, in the morning? Breakfast. <laughs> Early in the morning, we haven't had our coffee and we're trying to order in Spanish. This will be interesting. Okay, what's going to come on? I think this is fresh queso and arepa. Nice. Pretty nice. We'll try a bite. Okay, it's actually really nice. Back on the bus we go. That was a tasty, satisfying meal with beautiful, relaxing views. Our first stop of the day is a place called El Piñol, which is a reconstruction of an old town that doesn't exist anymore, specifically just this main square. And so what happened was in the 1960s, they wanted to create a dam to bring fresh water to Medellin, and so what ended up happening is the town got destroyed, yep. and it is now a lake. Really so this is happened. a replica to remember the town that once was. This place is very beautiful, but as you can see from the people, it is also very touristy. Which is new to us, because so far in Colombia, we've been like, where are the other tourists? We found them. I think it's boat tour o'clock now. Let's go on a boat. Ah. Alright, Joe. I'm in. Looks like we're on a floating pontoon. It's pretty cool. A little pontoon boat. First thing here, let's go. Safety first. Life jacket's on. Uh, Safety first. Oh, it's hot. Bye guys. Ah, adios. <laughs> I almost said au revoir, but I caught myself. <laughs> Aguardiente. What is Aguardiente? Aguardiente. Is it like good time? It's a good time, yeah. Yeah, very strong. 24%. Okay. Smells like licorice. It smells like black licorice. <laughs> yeah. Cheers! Cheers. Oh. I actually love black licorice. It's actually not strong at all. I don't. 24%? Yeah, and I got the goosebumps. <laughs> Alyssa says hand sanitizer. Mixed with black licorice. Oh, it's fine. Just learning some things about the area and the houses. This is one of the original homes here, so it's Spanish style, Spanish build. It's actually the 200 oldest. plus years old, the oldest, and the only one still standing that looks like that. Yeah, and he said the dam was created 46 years ago, um, and it was just around the corner where it's located, but we couldn't see it. And then this is the water coming out of it. And kind it's, of an amazing man-made lake. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like, we've now been on two man-made lakes, this one and then the one in Thailand, and they're both gorgeous. Beautiful. That's where the church used to be. Right in the middle of the Buried. lake now. Used to be 28 meters tall. As part of the history here, we talk about the leader of the Medellin cartel, Pablo Escobar, which everyone talks about. This was uh, one of his villas, his amusement park, if you will, on the uh, El Pañol Lake. So it's abandoned now. There it is, La Roca. First sign of the rock. It is one big, massive Actually, rock. Actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going wow, to be. Wow, it's towering over the area. We're going to hike up it, yay! A lot of stairs. 
So not only do ex-cartel or cartel family members own these houses, but also singers, football, football players, all this stuff. Kind of ridiculous because their their value is about the same as a regular house. In Canada. In like Canada. he's telling us the cost of these and like an expensive house, but like Yeah, two fifty to one point, you know, five million, which is like I thought it'd be way more. Yeah, not like a twenty like it would be at home. Was that fun, Debbie? That was great. It was a lot of fun. It was beautiful. It's a really beautiful lake. How was the boat? It was fun. It was good. Saw lots of cool houses and cool Pretty landscapes. And nice. It's good. Now we are back on the bus and we have about a 20 minute drive to Watape. So we thought this was just a Watape tour, but turns out there's all this other stuff too. We made it to a town, the town of Watape. We just arrived and just like that got given a candy, so we'll try it. It's like a milky caramel. Mm. It's good, right? Condensed coconut. milk, coconut, coconut, caramel. Coconut. It's good. Wow. Fun. Woo. So we learned the Tape was founded in 1911 by Spanish Basque people, and so the accent here is different than the accent in Medellin. So this place is known as a tourist destination, but if you stay overnight, it does get quiet in the morning and the evenings and stuff. But we're here for the day tour because we have things to do, places to go to. Quick note, see these cool panels everywhere on the side of these houses? They represent, Devin? The stories, apparently, of the people and the families that live in these houses, which is so beautiful and so cute. Also, and this colorful. specific street is busy, and the Umbrella Street is known as the tourist attraction street. But it's so colorful it's and beautiful. nice. Just walking down this beautiful Remembrance Street, as it's called, I think. Beautiful, colorful street. We're just taking a little breather here right beside the church. We were given about an hour of free time, which is really nice because we've just been able to walk around and explore this really beautiful, colorful town, which is kind of a perfect amount of time. It's a lot of stores and restaurants and tourist shops. Colorful buildings. Really beautiful, though. Yeah, it's been nice. It's actually quite a nice little town. It's colorful, yes it's touristy, but there's an actual church and an actual ceremony going on. I guess it's just regular Friday church. And then there's a flag street, so it's, it's very pretty. It's about to, it's time for lunch. Chicken, rice, beets, plantain, soup. It arrived as soon as we sat down. And it's great. It is great. Oh my goodness. Just being up here, we haven't even We're, to the, the rock is right there, okay? And I'll show you in a second, but, but it's so at the beautiful. top of a mountain already. So already this view is incredible. Incredible, incredible. Wow. Okay, this is really cool. Look at these views. You know I love my viewpoints. Okay, let's show it to them. <laughs> Okay, 780 steps, right? Yes. Are right, you guys ready to climb it at the end of the day? Let's do it. Yeah, nice and <laughs> After Woo! eating food? Let's do it. Oh, it's actually very large. No. Very large. <laughs> it's very manageable though to, to climb. I'm hoping. Knock on wood. It feels like I'm walking to the start of a race. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So just so you know, it does cost an extra twenty-five thousand uh, pesos, 
per person to climb up because it's owned by a family. And this actually is a stairwell. It was built in the 60s. It was wood originally, now it's concrete. Look at that view. So this is a recent attraction and it's become like the biggest attraction, the second or the third. Cartagena, Camino 13, Waitape Rock. Look at this. All right, we just passed the 250 mark. If you've been watching Keith in my videos, you know we love big staircases that make it two of you. Slow and steady. So yeah, you can take a helicopter ride. Pretty cheap actually, if you want, it's extra. And uh, I think it's like a 10 minute ride around. Seven minutes and it's $95 USD for seven minutes. There you go, Devin knows the stats. And so because of these helicopters going by, round and round, can't fly our drone nearby, so we flew it over there. Max was doing some wiki searching, and this used to be his farmland. The farmer sold it, some guy built, bought it, and was like, you know what? This could be a sick tourist attraction. And now look at us, us Canadians are here, <laughs> climbing up a rock. The whole world is here. <sighs> Hey Dev, what did we reach? Yeah. Woo! Not quite the top, but almost the top. That's all. <laughs> totally worth it. Very pretty. Gorgeous. <laughs> Magnificent even. It's, it's actually worth crazy the hike. high. It's worth so the hike. Cool. I feel like also cameras that, don't do justice. No. Gorgeous. And that this is like naturally, obviously this isn't, but this rock is just naturally huge. Just protruding from the yeah. ground. I feel like we're in the sky. Yeah. yeah. Last little bit, right? Yeah, couple hundred steps. Here, guys, I think it's just continue up. Now we made it. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Feel free to come in. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh, views, like 360 views. 360 views. And it's honestly not as busy as I expected it to be. Cloud height. Yeah. Wow, true, we're like higher than that mountain. I know, we're cloud height. It's what a ridiculous <laughs> geological Natural formation. Thing that then humans put stuff on so we can be up here. Love it. Uh, Actually feels like a green screen here. It's surrounding views just doesn't feel doesn't feel real in the clouds. It's pretty just really enjoying the views here. Yeah, I mean, this is why we came, right? This is insane. One thing about day tours is you always kind of feel like a bit like you're go, 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 which <laughs> is Moving. great because you see way more than you'd be able to see on your own in one single day. Mm. But we always find it's really important to like take a moment and really take it in. And you do so. have time for that. And that's what we we're do, doing right yeah. now and it's it's so beautiful. I mean, this view is absolutely amazing and this is why we came out all the way the and we climb El Piñon of Huatape. And it's the perfect temperature. And it's, it's just in a beautiful magnificent. So now we gotta hike back down, and then I think we have a two hour bus ride back to Medellin. I think it, yeah, I think it's about two hours, just hilly and windy at first, but mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just downhill from here. But it's easy for us, we just gotta sit on a bus. So that's all for now. We Thank recommend this watching. tour. Links below, by the way. Yeah, it's an Airbnb Go and check experience. it out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. It's also, thank you to our, our videographer, Alyssa Libri. Yeah, it's yeah. much better like this when we don't have to film. We carry you around more often. You guys can do the work. <laughs> you pay for it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, she's. We need. She what? Pays for her time. I should <laughs> spit it out. Tired. <laughs> We're making fun of the boss. <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> sun Behind the safety, scenes. Sun I safety. love these sunscreen sticks. <laughs> hey Max. Woo. Check that bit out. Whoa, 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 whoa.